What's going on, guys? It's your favorite YouTuber that likes to always clickbait you guys. Today, I'm getting the uh, I'm getting the truck already, getting the straps ready, getting the trailer hooked up, and uh, we're gonna go across the border and get ourselves a real nice car. So this is pretty much what I bring: is this whole bucket of straps and a come. You don't need to see me hooking up everything. So I'm just gonna. Hook her up and we'll get on the road. All right, we're just at my favorite spot to get fuel, and that's the Shell. It's one of the only places that has a diesel where it's easy to get in and out of. So I'm gonna gas up here and, uh, well not gas up, I'm gonna diesel up and then we'll be, we'll be good to go. Here we are, right here, V-Power. You gotta run a Shell in all of your, fuel things all right so we just fueled up it took uh hmm, well if you can see there 95 dollars it's a dollar a liter so uh we almost spent a hundred dollars in fuel but we got a full tank i don't think it's going to take us a full tank to get there but uh we'll, we'll have to wait and see yeah, there's a friggin' truck that tipped over here. They got ambulances and friggin' everything. You can see the car back there, but I'll show you in depth uh, a little bit closer uh, of what we're gonna get right now. We're at the old, uh, the old A and W Burger, getting the uh, 56 burgers, and my dad got what'd you get, pops? Chicken yeah, he got chicken on the lettuce wrap. He was gonna get the fish, but they don't have any fish. Um, I'd say we took about 30 minutes, maybe 40 minutes picking up that car. Would you say that, Pops? It's about right. And I had to climb out the door again to uh, get out of the car. But other than that, it was smooth. I'm going to grab the food and uh, start moseying on our way back because it's starting to get a little dark. And uh, this is how, how much uh, gas we use. Not much. Yeah, I'm just going to let my dad finish up eating. And I'll give you, I'll show you guys a little tour. Man, the thing with this is, the light, the, this keeps popping off. Ugh, there. Whoa. There we go. Huh. It's on there good now. And now we got lights. 
and now we got lights which is good but yeah I'll show you it's got like really nice seat covers it's got a bobble head <coughs> oh, sorry um, the rocker panels have been done on it which I wish it didn't have this in the ad so I'm not too happy about that but it's all strapped down nice to go and it's a little close on this side but overall I think it should be a good car to to bring home I mean honestly guys it's in not as good a shape as I wanted to but what do you expect for the small price of 500 bucks it's got good winter tires so I'm gonna uh probably gonna meet you guys back at the house because it's starting to close up it's starting to close up here I'm just out here in the Canadian Tire parking lot and uh, they're all closed so the difference between New Brunswick and Nova Scotia is everything in Nova Scotia is still like closed it's kind of weird so not, not too used to it like a lot of the stuff in New Brunswick is open so yeah we're gonna head back, meet back at the house. I'll see you guys maybe tomorrow. see it's got a little bit of an exhaust leak very minor but I'm gonna get the creeper we're gonna go underneath and we're gonna see uh, how bad this exhaust leak is yeah it's been brought to my attention that we can't uh... oh it works I thought this was not gonna work but apparently it works and I got goodies in the trunk the ga girl gave me all these goodies so I got Outlast Tire Glaze for your winter tires, so that's going to be good. I got a scraper for uh, ice in the winter time. I got Everyone Needs Better Than Glass Cleaner. It's got a rim, it's got heated seats, like this car is probably like the S model. Got heated seats, white lithium grease, some windshield washer fluid, some armor all one one drum brake and a, a bent rim so all this stuff will come in handy save myself about easily fifty dollars just by doing this but let me take you guys under the car and i'll show you the exhaust leak uh it was pretty evident that uh that austin was welding on this vehicle not really but i'm going to show you guys where it's broken it's broken right here and you can see the pipe was pretty much pieced together the bracket right here for the flange is broken off but with that being said everything else under this car is in good shape really good shape good winners and everything so all I got to do now is I got to measure that exhaust pipe and uh, I'll go get a little piece of exhaust with us uh, uh, two clamps and, and I'll clamp it on and I'll also probably get some uh, some hacksaw blades because that's all we're gonna need to, to make this uh, this big uh, exhaust leak better so we'll go we'll go do that <sighs> Now what you want to do, is you want to measure it. So you just gotta grab, whoa. You just gotta measure this like this. Pretty much like that's gonna give you the right amount. 
and then you check your your indicator here and this is an indicator that we're gonna need an inch and a quarter pipe so we'll go get that and clamp it on I mean it's gonna be better than nothing and some of these lines are crusty but they're gonna hold up there's a lot of rust under this car I went down and I got a new blade I cut this piece right here and I slid it on and I'm gonna put a exhaust well I cut a little bit of the blade but the pipe goes up to here so it's gonna be okay so I'm just gonna clamp it on here and then put a clamp here I mean I know it's leak like a little bit is leaking here and stuff but not enough to be a, a super big concern so that's what I'm gonna do is just clamp that got my safety glasses on because uh, so much rust on this once I get it clamped up I guess we'll start it up and see if it's gonna sound good or not I don't know if it's gonna sound good or not cause I uh, put the clamps on this is how I got the clamps on I put the one here if you look you can kind of see right here where the pipe is actually like really squished like kind of like a boa constrictor that's good this one here I'm not sure if it's because it's like a uh, a different kind of pipe or not but it's not as squished so what I'm gonna do now is uh, I got this fixed but there might be a little bit of a leak we'll put a little bit of like exhaust cement in there but first well actually I'll put the exhaust cement in that right now and then uh We'll do our startup. And uh, all this stuff with the blade, the clamps and the pipes, it only cost me like uh, $27 versus like $40 if you were to get this uh, welded in. I was gonna weld it in, but the, the pipe seems pretty weak, so I'm not uh, gonna weld it in. And now, that was it. Now I put the cement on. It doesn't look pretty, but I put it on there too. It says, uh, just run the, run the engine for five minutes and then let it cool for let it cool for 30 and also this is the piece right here that I cut off so it looks like it's got a bunch of different pipes on it so I'll get I'll get my dad to start up the car and uh, it should be quiet er this is the moment we have all been waiting for guys it's like a night and day difference it's it's pretty dang quiet so that's awesome what do you think pops is it quiet well it's at least better than it was I'm gonna pop the hood and see see what the hoods like because I haven't even popped the hood on this yet I mean, huh, I mean, it's got oil everywhere, but that's your typical Ecotec too. And this right here, this ain't blown shocks. This is just cups. All the uh, shitbox cars, have, whoa, look at this. That's got some, uh, some weird stuff on it. I don't know but I'm glad that the, the exhaust on this is fixed. So, um, trying to just think about what, what's left. Oh yeah, I pulled the uh, seat covers off too. And there was no, there was no major stains or rips, so that's good. Pops, what do you think though about the exhaust? It's not leaking. That's good, eh? Yeah. All right. All right, well, I'm just gonna like check everything and hey you gotta leave it running all right guys so I'm just a little uh, tired sweaty and stuff I pulled a car in the garage uh, just to pretty much uh, evaluate it a little bit more I'll show you what I done so I put a test product right here and it this dry cowling absorbed it also what I did was uh, I buffed the headlights with the buff pad and compound that looks really good and then I uh, I took all the stickers off, 
there were stickers right here and right here you can still see some remnants of it I'm gonna put some goo gone on it but I got all that off um, there's a sticker here I think that's for like a transit sticker for them to legally be able to drive their car around but I'll show you the inside I took the floor mats off oh and also I don't know if you can see that on camera but there's glue residue there I didn't do the windows yet so bear with me so now I did the dash there's a little bit of white stuff there from the bobblehead I'm gonna put some goo gone on that but the whole front is nicely done this is done actually I'm gonna go look at it from the back seat and it's it's vacuumed but I didn't uh, put the carpet cleaner on it or anything but yeah I mean overall the interior is good I got loads of free shit out of the the car and uh, all you could ask for so let me tell you one more thing so I've got this right here this is a uh, just a it's a base coat because I guess I guess with the Pontiac waves they only sell it in base coat so I have to buy the clear separate but I told the guy I'm just gonna buy the base coat now and uh, see what it looks like because I need to do this that's like the only spot I need to do. The rockers were just done poorly, but they were done. So that's all, that's where I'm updated at and that's what I did. Also, I, I ordered new hubcaps. I'll put the same hubcaps on this car that I put on the uh, Hyundai because they're cheap and they, they make it look really good. So I think what I'll do is I'll set, I'll set you guys up and we'll, uh, We'll bang out this bodywork. So here, we're just gonna touch this up a little bit. I'm gonna sand it to expose the the flaking of the paint, and then we'll. Uh... And that right there probably would be good enough to f to fill. I'm gonna uh, jack it up and just pound in some of this, and uh, we should be able to get at it pretty easy. Yeah, right now I'm just mixing up, mixing up some slop. Usually. This is how you want to do it, it's on your favorite piece of newspaper. So now that I got it ready, I ground this rust down just a little bit. You know, this is nothing fancy. It's just enough to, I guess, get rid of the, uh, the bubbles. I mean, this isn't really mandatory to do. That's it, you don't need to overdo it. But on this side, you're going to need to do a lot more. Thing is, there's a lot of heat here today, so we got a lot of... You gotta work fast. And you just wanna cake it in here and come up with the cake. It's just like, it's like art, you know? Just like an art piece. We're gonna let that sit and then there's a little hole right here under the rocker panel that I'll touch up. These rocker panels were done before. Um, they are done like backyardly nice, I guess, but uh, what happened was, it's what happens with everything, and the rust usually gets to her. There. So we're going to let this dry. Oh, yeah. There. And we're going to let this dry, and we'll come back, and we'll sand it, prime it, and hopefully this will look like a brand new car again. All right, so I just uh, I just sanded the bottom here. I'm, I'm shaking up my primer surface gray fast line. And this is how far I got. So I put the bag on a tire. I did a little bit of the, uh, I'm gonna prime the bumper there where some of the paint's peeling, and just right here, and it should give me a good amount. So now on this side, this side's all nice and hard. It's gonna be ready for sanding. But first things first, I gotta prime the sanding spot. So we'll go ahead and do that. Now I'm not going ham with it. I'm just doing very small coverage. Now we're gonna let that dry. While I'm letting that dry, I'm gonna uh, go over and I'm applying this base coat, flame red.
Now I'll leave that to dry and when I let that dry I'll do the primer on the other side. I'll put some more primer on this side and by more I mean just some. Now the thing is with this primer that you guys don't know or maybe you do is that this is a self it's a high build formula so it means that it gets in all the cracks and services so that it hides as much uh, sanding scratches as possible. So I'm going to let this dry, I'll wait for it, and I'll hit it with some red. Nice and dry, hopefully it'll look good. I'm just going to pull this, this tape because I, this is the best tape to use protective wise for uh, sanding, but now that we're not sanding, we can uh, take it off. Now I'm just going to spray it up and it'll look good. The reason why I took off the fenders, the bumpers, so it can blend a little bit easier and isn't as harsh. That's all you want for a coat on this one. That's perfect. Now we're going to move the tire down. We're going to give this a good spray here. I'm gonna let that dry. Overall guys, if you look at it, it looks like it never was there before. So, we'll let that dry and uh, maybe we'll take her out, we'll be able to clean all the dust off. So this right here, I'm gonna show you how to get rid of this scratch really easy. You just wanna feather this on there, just like this. and the scratch is all gone, except for the black. That wasn't gonna come out anyways, so we got that all out. That was quick, quicker than putting a buffer compound on it and buffing it out to find out that we were just gonna have to use this anyways. So that's awesome for scratches. It's so glad. after wait, waiting over a week for these, they finally came in. Now if you watch my other videos, if you watch my other videos, you would know these are my go-to hubcaps, just because price and quality, and they just make the car look so dang on good. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna set these up and we'll put them on the car together. Now, this is probably the best upgrade that you can possibly put on your car, is these hubcaps. It just makes them turn, it turns them into day, night into day. Look at that. I mean, it's, it's not that the other ones were bad or anything, it's just the other ones, wow, the other ones were just mismatch. And uh, you can't have a mismatch, so you gotta buy all of them. Wow, those are really nice. Let's uh, take this out in the sunlight and uh, take a look at it. So, no seat belt? No, there is. Wait, she's smoking, man. We'll get it out of the garage. <laughs> yeah, she's smoking because uh, I don't know why. Oh, oh. Look at all that smoke, man. I don't know what that's from. Oof. But anyways, we're gonna go to the spot because that's where we always go to take our really nice pictures. And uh, you don't want to take it in the rain. You don't want to take it in the in the day. You just want to simply take it at dusk. Oh yeah, she's riding real good. You can hear a little bit of like some some top rust, but that's nothing serious. All right, take a lap. Uh, yeah, 
Yeah, you can just go straight actually. So we'll, we'll head on over. All right, so we're at the spot and uh, we had to go to a different spot because uh, as you can see, like this is nice and like not a lot of people and really uh, it's like darker so you can really see the shine of the car. But yeah, those hubcaps, dang. And everything else looks really good. I polished the hood. I didn't polish like a bunch of other stuff, but the hood got polished. Really nice. It just looks really good. This side too looks really good. So that's Oh, and the interior, well, the back seat, eh, it was okay. I mean, there's some minor stainage, but the front seat looks really good. I, I use my extractor. That white spot there, uh, I think that's paint. And then everything else looks really good. So there you go, guys. We went and got the car together. We... We cleaned her up, we fixed the exhaust, we did all the goodies, goods, and uh, now it's time to uh, see what happens from here. But thank you so much for watching. I'll see you guys in the next episode. Comment down below what you'd like to see next.